Alright you guys, so I'm going to be using the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and it doesn't look like my photo wants to focus in on it. There we go. And I picked up two colors. I picked up the color Mocha and the color Espresso. I wasn't really sure. Y'all know how this goes when y'all are in store. You can't really figure out what color you are whatever and then i also picked up a concealer from the same line and then the setting powder so we're going to see how this all works where it says wednesday and then i'm also going to be trying out the Murad matte effect blotting um perfecter and it's actually a liquid blotting formula from Murad. so if you guys didn't know Murad is a really big skincare brand and they are sold at Sephora and Ulta and you can grab it online as well but anyways I just thought this would be a good thing to try especially because this photo focus formula definitely doesn't say that it's going to do anything besides take good pictures so we'll see how that goes okay so for this foundation I'm going to be using um, my 55 brush from Sephora and I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face this is supposed to be for um photos and different things like that so I want to make sure that I give it a good try and if I was going to be on a set this foundation would need to last throughout the lights and all that stuff and me getting hot so I'm going to treat it as such today normally I would probably just do one side with the primer and the other side without but because of the formulation of it and what it's supposed to do I want to stay in line with that and I'm going to go ahead and try Mocha first just to be on the safe side. And we'll see how that plays out here. Okay. So here is what it looks like. And then when you open it, it has like this little doe foot applicator. I don't really know how I feel about that. It looks like that. The formula is your basic liquid formula. It's not too runny. Um, it's not really thick either. It's just the right consistency. So let's go ahead and apply. All right, so this foundation may be a little bit too dark, but that's okay because we can warm it up, um, definitely lighten it up as we go, and I'm just going to put that all in there. Okay, so this is with one layer of the foundation, and yes, it does look a little dark, so I'm glad I didn't go with the espresso but I mean like it looks dark on camera but in real life it's looking pretty good so that's okay so I think this actually is going to be my color just looks a little bit darker in the lighting here there we go Okay, and I was just buffing that into my skin. That's a really good foundation brush. If you guys do not know that or haven't tried it, that number 55 brush from Sephora is amazeballs. All right, so I'm going to go in with the concealer. And let's see how this is going to do. I'm just going to add just a little bit underneath my eye. I'm treating this like it's a photo shoot like I'm treating the foundation like it's gonna be for a photo shoot so I want to definitely make sure I give it a good roll <laughs> I guess okay that concealer definitely did blend out very nicely doesn't take a lot of work. It's reminding me kind of of the NARS creamy concealer. Definitely giving me that, those kind of vibes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera. And then I will come back and show you guys the final 
results. All right, you guys, so I have set my face completely. I used the pressed powder from Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus uh, powder. And this is what my face is looking like right now. I'm going to snap a picture. It says that it's supposed to be good under different lighting conditions. And as you guys know, I have like all this lighting going on. Plus, I have some natural light too. So this is what it's looking like with the lighting. Okay. And I'm going to snap a picture here. And I guess I'll... I'm going to use the front camera but I have the um, the flash on the front. I have a seven, so it'll give me some flash as well. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go, we're gonna take it the other way and turn the flash on. I'm trying to make sure I can see myself. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is with the flash. And maybe I'll just try to take a better picture. Um, it's not that bad. It is kind of... Ooh, I'm going to take one more. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm not looking... Okay, so I'm going to take a picture with the front. Okay, that's a better. Here is a picture with the flash on. That's actually not that bad. It's a little, I'm getting a, feeling a little white cast-ish, but I did set my um, concealer with Laura Mercier powder, so I don't know if that's causing it or if it's the um, actual foundation. I guess we'll find out. I wanted to set everything as though I was going to a photo shoot, so I would not not set my face if I had um, whatchamacallit on. So... Yeah, I'll be back with a check-in here shortly and probably about like 12-ish because when you go to a photo shoot, you're usually there for like mm, about four to six hours and I think that's how long I'm going to test it out, seeming that it doesn't have any specific claims other than that it should last in all kinds of lighting settings. So, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so it's about 12 15 maybe and here is my face I'm out in natural light and I don't know like I'm kind of liking this foundation and I love the um, everything that I used with it at first I was a little skeptical but now that everything's kind of settled in it's looking really really good so here is a close-up I'll be back okay so it's about 3 30 ish and this is what my face is looking like trying to get in some good lighting here as you can see, I'm still holding on. The shine that you see is from my highlighter. So, we're gonna get into these bumps that are showing up on my face later on, because I don't know what that's about. Okay, so I went ahead and used, let me see if I can pop it in here, my Marad, um, there we go, my Marad Blot Mattifier, and it's a liquid form. But this is what it's looking like. So it definitely got up all of that excess oil off of my face. Um, so, But it did take off some makeup as well. Like you can see my highlight isn't as popping as it was before. But that's okay because we're matte now. We can make it through the rest of the day. So I'll be back for another check-in. Okay, you guys. So I have been wearing this foundation for a total of 12 hours. It is now 9.42 and I'm ready to go to bed. Okay, so I want to get this all done and taken care of. All right, so this is what we looking like. Now, I'm not feeling bad about this because normally I'm looking like a greaseballbucket.com, okay? And this actually is holding up pretty well. I'm still um, matte here in my normal areas. I'm a little shiny up and through here, but that's to be expected. I've had this on for 12 hours and I still feel like I could go somewhere and look presentable and not crazy. Now, I did use the Murad... Um, matte effect blotting perfector and hopefully you guys can see that there 
it is a liquid blotter so that actually i think helps the longevity of it because it did bring me back matte right before i went to church and then i also set my face this morning with the blue marble setting spray so you guys know this and um a lot of the things that i use are made to make your makeup last all day long and i just thought this would be perfect since we're using a photo focus one we want something that's going to set our face for a photo shoot right that's what i think about so let's go ahead and get into these specs okay now the wet n wild foundation has a total of 20 shades available but the t is autumn shades ain't gonna be available at your local walgreens cvs walmart whatever People have been playing scavenger hunts, so wet and wild, I'm going to need y'all to get it all the way together and put the 20 shades out. Like, I don't understand. Like, maybe buy some more space. If y'all ain't got enough space for them, get rid of some of this other stuff I've seen that y'all really just need to let go of. I'm not even, I'm not even going to get started there on my trip to Walgreens, but... I really think that you guys should carry all the shades everywhere. Now, I was able to find my shade, which was Mocha. When I first applied it, it was really, really red orangish, okay? And I was like, oh, on camera, it didn't look very good at all. But looking in real life, it looked okay. Now, this is supposed to be a photo-focused foundation. So, I was like, okay, if this is focusing on the photos then I should look really good and really natural. So by the time I got done applying everything, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I really like this foundation or not because it just didn't give me that zhush feel. But let me tell y'all, as the day went on, y'all, this foundation was amazing. It stayed in its place. And all the pictures that I took look really nice. My face looked really smooth, really clean cut and everything. And I'm probably looking a little bit more shiny right now because of these lights. But it held up so well for a regular eight hour day. This is a great foundation. Now again with this foundation, it does have like this little spatula here. And I don't know how I feel about the spatula. It's great for um, application of applying it directly on your face which is okay for me, but um, for clients, I wouldn't be applying it directly on anybody's face anyways, so that wouldn't matter to me. When I'm looking at this foundation here, because it's a drugstore foundation, the focus is on photos and stuff, I'm thinking about my kit and how um, feasible it's gonna be to find the colors and stuff like that to put in my kit, and that is why I would have to say I'm going to give the foundation a nine out of 10. Okay, and I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 simply because it did hold up, but all of the shade ranges were not there. It did do good in the different light settings that I had. It just was a great foundation for all day wear. I love the fact that it does not claim to stay on all day, but it did. Okay, that really got me. I was like, okay, this is wet and wild foundation. There's no way, but there is a way. And this foundation did exactly that and i have to give them kudos for making this foundation in a drugstore brand um i would even compare this to my smashbox foundation or even the maybelline fit me it gives me that kind of feel um i just would like to know why it applied orangish reddish and then it oxidized i'm guessing to my right color but that was a little bit weird to me but other than that when why you did your thing now, the second thing that we can talk about here is the concealer. Now, this concealer is getting 10 out of 10. This thing did not move, okay? It's still underneath there. And I didn't use a whole lot to brighten underneath my eyes. I just wanted to just get a feel for it. And it reminds me of the NARS Creamy Concealer as well as my Kat Von D Cream Concealer. It is a creamy-based concealer, and y'all know creamy base with oil oily skin is a good thing because you you're going to actually get it to sit into its place and it's going to build a barrier we can talk about all that in another video but that is why i really like the creamy concealer it gives me more coverage okay now the shade range they only have six shades i'm gonna need y'all to do a little bit better because from what i saw like i just kind of lucked up with this color and i think this is 
a medium deep tan like I kind of lucked up with that that I have um, yellow undertones and this doesn't even look like it's really that yellow goldenish undertones so uh, need y'all to do a little bit better with that add some more concealer ranges especially because I would like to use this concealer on an everyday basis at $3.99 you cannot go wrong with this concealer it puts me in the mindset like I said of the NARS but it would be comparable to your LA Girl Pro um, concealer just the um, the price point would say hey which one would you get but I would probably gravitate towards this one I'm just saying all right, and last but not least on our list, we have the, this is the pressed powder here. Now, this was another thing I was not feeling that there's only eight shades of this powder. Now, you got 20 shades of foundation, but eight shades of powder. I'll wait, okay? Because that doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. This setting powder, I would say it did okay. I can't say it did great or didn't do great. I didn't feel like it gave me a lot of color coverage. It gave me some, but not a ton. It was okay. Like, I don't have anything, like, really good to say or really bad to say. It was just okay. Do I think you can probably skip out on this? Um, I would say if you're going to do the whole photo focus line if you're going to do the photo focus i would say stick to using this powder because i think they all go into conjunction together and that's how i used it today because i didn't want to mix and match a lot of stuff i kind of wanted to stick to what this was saying to really get that photo focus finish on there but i i don't know y'all i don't know i think they need to come out with more shade ranges okay so overall this whole line from wet n wild the photo focus line i would have to give it a nine out of ten stars all together my only issue with them was the the color ranges on the different um concealer and on the powder there was just not enough and then i'm still a little concerned about the hues um the undertones of these foundations for the darker skin but as far as it doing what it says it's gonna do it does that and it gives you a nice finish so i really can't complain and i was really surprised like i wanted to hate it i mean not i wanted to hate it but i didn't think i was really gonna like it like it's a drugstore foundation and at that it's like it's wet and wild which there's nothing wrong with wet and wild but it's not one of your top brands like you have your maybelline l'oreal's and then on the side out is your wet and wild so that's how i kind of like group them or whatever anyways i feel like wet and wild really took their time with this foundation to make it right to make it worth your money to make it worth your coins and the fact that the price point is only 5.99 you cannot beat that to all my makeup artists out there this is going to be a good foundation to add to your kit okay um in my kit right now i do have a lot of the maybelline and then i have some of the mac in there but i think this is going to be good especially if you're just starting out and trying to build your kit this is going to be perfect to add to it i hope you guys really enjoyed this review make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any more of my videos and if you don't mind if you wouldn't be too shy that's what my pastor is saying sometimes, my old pastor. If you don't be too shy, go and share my video, okay? Like, just, just share it. All it takes is a little click. Like, a little click, click, click right there. That, that button right there, it just says share it. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on Twitter. You can share it on Instagram. Hell, pin me to your purchase. I don't care. Just share my video so somebody else can see what you see in me. And I will catch you guys in the next video. KK, bye.